Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. This week's episode features the announcement of March's Games with Gold, dogs dressed up like some of your favorite game characters, the launch of Age of Empires Definitive Edition, and much more. But first, let's get to those headlines. Games with Gold for March were announced this week. Xbox Live Gold members will be able to grab Trials of Blood Dragon and Super Hot for Xbox One and Quantum Conundrum and Brave the Video Game for Xbox 360 and Xbox One through backward compatibility. Turn 10 Studios introduced two highly requested features to Forza Motorsports 7 this week. First, we have the new Spectate feature, which allows you to hop into public and private lobbies and view races as they happen. Next is the new Seed the Grid feature. This is where lobby hosts can choose the order that different cars are positioned when the race begins. If that wasn't enough, the Dell Gaming Car Pack also released this week. Lots of sales have been popping up lately, and this week, no different. The EA Publisher sale is taking place now through February 26th, and included in the sale are discounts on games like Star Wars Battlefront 2, Madden NFL 18, Battlefield 1 Revolution, FIFA 18, Need for Speed Payback, and more. Also, during the sale, there will be a digital gifting opportunity. Here's how it works. If you gift an EA title or DLC to family or friends from the Microsoft Store, you'll receive one month of EA access. There is a minimum purchase amount to be eligible, so visit the URL below for more details. A new level and character pack inspired by Marvel Studios' Black Panther film joined the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 season pass this week. As you can see, this is set within the kingdom of Wakanda and places you on a dangerous mission where you will battle mutated creatures and Killmonger's army. By the way, the reviews for this movie are in and it is fantastic. Burnout Paradise Remastered was announced this week. The remaster will include the original base game and add-on content like Big Surf Island. On the technical side of things, you can expect high-resolution 4K graphics and 60 frames per second gameplay. Burnout Paradise Remastered comes out on March 16th and we'll dive deeper into the game once it releases. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege offered up a new look at the Chimera operation and two new operators for the upcoming Outbreak co-op event coming to everyone on March 6th. Take a look for yourself. In case you missed it, the Chinese New Year kicked off this past week. This Lunar New Year celebrates the Year of the Dog. So naturally, Xbox and well-known dog fashion designer Roberto Negrin brought us Xbox Cospups. These are dogs dressed in character outfits based on PUBG, Sea of Thieves, Forza Motorsport, Gears of War, and Halo. Which one is your favorite? There is Master Chihuahua, Sea of Fleas, Mutkus Phoenix, Furza, and the tiny but mighty Pug G. Listen, this isn't the most gameplay-centered news of the week, but if we can't enjoy some puppies dressed up like Master Chief or Pirates, then what can we enjoy? The final week of Anime Month is here, and this week the highlight is Attack on Titan. A new Ninja Avatar joined Roblox this week. Toru the Phantom Claw is a master ninja with versatile fighting and stealth skills. You can grab the Avatar for 50% off now until February 26th to enjoy with any of the thousands of free Roblox games. Let's see what's out now. Age of Empires Definitive Edition is out now in the Microsoft Store on Windows 10. This pivotal real-time strategy game returns in definitive form for Windows 10 PCs. Bringing together all the officially released content with modernized gameplay, remastered 4K graphics, an all-new orchestral soundtrack, eight-person online multiplayer, and a host of other new features. This is the complete package and a great time to jump in to Age of Empires. 
How about some more backward compatibility releases? This week, Vanquish, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, and Brave the Video Game joined the Back Compat program and are now playable on your Xbox One. Metal Gear Survive launched this week. This is a spinoff of Metal Gear Solid 5, which picks up at the end of Ground Zeroes. The single player mode is heavy on the survival style gameplay, while co-op is played online with up to four players. Your team's objective is to defend a wormhole digger for a certain number of enemy waves. Plus, it's here that you and your team can earn a ton of loot to be used between single player and co-op modes. Last up, Keep an eye out for daily, weekly, and special orders for added challenges. Fable Fortunes launched out of Xbox Game Preview and into its full release this week. This free-to-play collectible card game is based on the world and characters we all love from the Fable universe. Plus, this is an Xbox Play Anywhere title, so you'll be able to enjoy it on your Windows 10 PC as well. Another game to launch out of Xbox Game Preview this week is Hand of the Gods Smite Tactics. With the launch comes the release of the Core Set Bundle, which gives you the ability to build a diverse army of gods, monsters, and spells. Early access for Battlefield 1's fourth expansion is now available to Premium Pass owners. Apocalypse drops you into the most brutal battles of the Great War and introduces five new maps, new melee weapons and firearms, and a lot more. It's the dogfights in the air assault mode that I am looking forward to. That just looks like fun. Up next is Past Cure. This is a dark psychological thriller that blends together an intense cinematic story with stealth and combat gameplay. If you are an EA Access member and like basketball, then you should like this next bit of news. NBA Live 18 is now in the EA Access vault. Now that means you can play the full game whenever you want. Time for the Community Minute. Hey Xbox Gamers, Malik here, and it is time for another Community Minute. This week we're highlighting Xbox MVP and Gamers Outreach founder, Zach Weigel. I got a chance to sit down and talk with him about how he's making a difference in the world through gaming. Let's take a look. My name is Zach Weigel. I'm the founder of a charity organization in the video game industry called Gamers Outreach. We work to provide recreation to kids in hospitals that are going through long-term treatment. So Gamers Outreach is a charity organization that basically brings video games into the hospital environment. So we work with a lot of kids that have had really big surgeries. Sometimes they go into a hospital frequently for chemo or dialysis. And we're basically trying to provide these kids with access to activities during periods of time where they might not be able to do much, maybe outside of their hospital room or during treatment. And so we do a lot with the Xbox team bringing games into the hospital environment so kids can have access. So video game enthusiasts can support our efforts in a number of ways. You can check out gamersoutreach.org for direct opportunities to get involved with gamers outreach programs. But honestly, nothing's really stopping any video gamer from just reaching out to their local hospital and volunteering or asking whether or not the hospital might have use for games. So we always encourage gamers to just give your local hospital a call, reach out to their foundation or the child life department at a hospital, and you can figure out whether or not you might be able to just come by and play video games with kids or donate some hardware that you might not have use for. It is so great to hear his story, and I love how he's motivating others to make a difference. For more information on Gamers Outreach, be sure to go to gamersoutreach.org. This has been the Community Minute. We'll see you next time. The European finals for the Halo World Championship 2018 are taking place in London February 23rd through the 25th. Visit the URL below for more details on the event itself and the upcoming Halo World Championship 2018 schedule. Ready for Did You Know? A couple of weeks ago, we mentioned the new Mini Game Hub feature that came with the most recent Xbox One console update. One of the highlights of Minigame Hubs is the ability to browse all looking for group posts for a game without going to the full screen game hub. That means that while you are waiting in a lobby, you can pop open the guide, look for an LFG post, or create your own. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching.